Number 7. This is 1969 D. Kennedy Half Dollar with Attractive Toning. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. According to NGC, Teehee 1969 D. Half Dollar is a near twin to the 1968 D. Edition in terms of availability. Certified gems are common through MS65, with enough MS66 examples to mostly meet the demand from advanced collectors. A sprinkling of PL coins exists to whet the appetites of series specialists. There are very few varieties known for such a large mintage requiring many dies. This MS65 specimen ended up selling for $1,715.62 with buyer's fee. Number 6. This is 1985 D. Lincoln sent in MS69 red condition. This lustrous red-orange superb gem is in the threshold of numismatic perfection. Both sides are devoid of mentionable contact marks or blemishes. PCGS certified 11 specimens in this lofty grade including this gem, with none finer. It ended up selling for $2,040. Number 5. Here is 1955 Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 Full Steps by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1955 Jefferson Nickel is seldom seen with a sharp strike, and Full Steps coins are major rarities at the superb gem level. This is a condition census example with just two specimens in this grade and none numerically finer. Delicate champagne toning warms the satiny, pristine luster. Central definition of the steps is pleasing. It was sold for $5,040. Number 4. Here is 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar with exquisite toning. Bold iridescence is seen around central devices of obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Though millions of pieces survive in mint state, most are quite heavily marked from years of being traded in bag quantities. Gems are readily available in grades as high as MS66, though many of these required attractive toning to push them past the MS64 level. Anything above MS67 is considered relatively rare. This gem was sold for $8,156.25 with buyer's fee. Number 3. This is 1913 D. Lincoln sent in MS66 plus red condition. CAC approved superb gem. This issue is only moderately scarce in circulated grades, and enough mint state pieces have survived to meet the needs of most collectors. The census data reveal that this is also a relatively plentiful issue in fully red gem condition, something that rarely can be said of mint mark sense dated 1911-15. Fully struck pieces from fresh dyes are scarce. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $13,500 with buyer's fee. Number 2. This is 1951 Franklin Half Dollar in MS67 Plus condition with full bell lines. This issue experienced the highest production of half dollars since the final war year of 1945, a sure sign that the record wartime production had been fully distributed and was beginning to need replenishment. On the downside, the dies for 1951 P half dollars were run too long, with poor details being the result. Some of this was due to deterioration of the master hubs, and this problem grew steadily until new masters were made in 1960. Examples are scarce above MS64, with just enough graded MS65 to meet the needs of serious collectors. The proportion of coins certified as having FBL, however, is lower than for preceding dates in the series. This attractive specimen was sold for $25,312.50 with buyer's fee. Number 1. Here is 1925 D. Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition. According to NGC, the year 1925 is notorious for poorly struck coins from heavily eroded dyes. This applies across all denominations, but it is most apparent in the cents, nickels and dimes. The 1925 D cent is nearly unrivaled as the rarest date with a full strike from fresh dyes. Even the most advanced collector may have to compromise a bit with this issue. PCGS reported just three specimens in this high-end grade including this coin, with none finer. It was sold for $92,812.50 with buyer's fee. That's all folks. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to unlock more valuable insights. Take care.